Hello everybody. In this video we're going to take a look at how to beat the Act 2 boss, the Bronze Automaton, while using the Silent. This is not a fully upgraded Silent, so there are some relics that are still off the table as well as possibly some cards that are off the table. My deck for the most part is poison centric at this point here. Uh, I do have plenty of poison mechanics with the Crippling Cloud Catalysts to double and triple the poison. Bouncing Flask, as well as to uh, double one of my skills playing, uh, if any of those happen to come up nicely in the, the same turn. Other than that, uh, my other main mechanics are to use Terror on bosses to ultimately uh, permanently vulnerabilize them. And then uh, I have a lot of energy and card draw as well. So energy proc and card draw is important to this deck as well. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty good balance between um, attack and defense. If you want to see the entire loadout... Scroll through it quick. Nothing terribly unique or super rare as far as cards go. A lot of these are just basic, basic cards. See, there's no colorless, really no power cards, nothing like that. Relics in play. Uh, the T set, start with extra energy. Combine that with um, the lantern. Six out of three to start with. It's great. Or Chalcum, if I finish the turn without block, I'm going to get some block. If I happen to do some discards during the turn, I get three block. And my one single uh, zero cost attack will get a little bit extra damage to it. Normally fights will start with everybody being poison, but he had artifacts. So I just knocked out one of those artifacts and um, that was that. Potions, I have a cultist potion, which I just got. I'm actually going to use this right away because it takes an entire turn to proc, uh, but that's going to help me grow strength along the way and ultimately uh, hopefully overwhelm this guy. Now the big thing with him, because of my deck, uh, is mostly poison based. Until I get rid of this, um, this uh, artifact, there's not a lot I can do uh, against him. Now looking at my opening salvo here, we have one, two, three, four five, six, we have, we can play all of our cards. So, um, I don't generally like to waste this, but it's two debuffs and one. It will totally take out his artifacts uh, to begin with. So we kind of feel like we're forced to do that. I could just leave it, but I don't really have much else that's going to remove the artifacts. And if I draw the, um, the terror card, I want him to be vulnerable. I can't, uh, risk missing that card and waiting a whole nother deck rotation for it. Uh, but I'll save Catalyst. This one would have been nice to have later on because of the triple. But otherwise, we'll take energy gain for the next turn. We will strike him. We'll get a little bit of block. We'll attack with our shiv and go from there. So decent opening turn. Uh, but now he's going to summon his minions. His minions are going to come and steal my cards. So that is uh, not good for us because they, for whatever reason, they always tend to steal the absolute best cards. So depending on what your your thought is here, you could try to take the main down as fast as possible um, while trying to mitigate damage uh, from the other ones. If you feel like you can take out one of the orbs to begin with, that's probably a good idea. I would focus on the one with lesser health. Um, but um, right now, I don't get free energy back from Sneaky Strike because I don't have a discard. So the play here is going to be to Terror the boss, and then I think focus on killing one orb and then defending so i'm going to get some strength i'll be able to take on the boss eventually but i can't handle two orbs stealing my cards and doing supplemental attacks so his attack pattern is pretty basic it's the same thing every time it's basically uh, attack buff attack buff and then mega attack and so you have to be able to survive the first mega attack or you're done with uh, I'll be honest, I probably should have killed this guy here first because he took my stasis card. Um, or not stasis. Yeah, stasis. No, it's not stasis. That's his uh, turn here. So he took my burst card, and that allowed me to have my skill played twice. That would have been really nice to have. And even this guy here took Crippling Cloud Plus. So two really good cards lost there. Uh, all I can really do is just uh, start pounding away on this guy here and hopefully uh, take him out. So down to 12. I can't kill him on this turn. I think I will 
since I can't kill him on this turn, I'll just have to kill him next turn. Using this last attack may not benefit much, but getting extra energy is definitely good. So taking one damage versus taking six, that's the, the pros and cons here. Um, Cards-wise, I have... I have damage in my deck, so I feel like I'm going to be able to damage him. So I'm going to defend this turn just uh, for safety's sake, because I don't want to have a, a health issue when he comes up to do his mega attack. You just don't want to deal with that. All right, so nobody's poisoned yet. We want to do fly knee, 12 on 12, perfect. So kill that guy. Crippling cloud, seven damage, plus a little bit of extra. I will take that all day, plus it does a week. Saves me a little bit there. I have two left, we're doing 11 and 11. We could do it on the main or we could do it on the other guy here. That is a Sophie's choice, if you will. I'm going to try and kill this other guy here, just because I feel like it's going to be entirely plausible to do so. There we go. Say goodbye to that guy. So now, I just have to survive long enough to endure his, um, his mega laser. So he's going to attack me here. And then I have to have a good turn of defense. So I'll probably be able to survive it. I got plenty of health here. Would have been nice to draw this the next turn, but it is what it is. I don't have any discard mechanics yet. So let's just uh, attack. Yeah, not a lot I can do here. Just doesn't even matter what I do. So he's going to attack. I can take it. That's his mega flask or his mega um, mega attack. And now that I killed the other orb, bouncing flask is going to be fantastic because it's all going to go on him. Would have been nice to have that, uh, that um, the double skill card, but this is cool. So I'll take uh, double the poison. I'll take that any day of the week. Would have liked to have the, the extra energy for the next turn. Uh, however, he's going to be stunned. And I do have a good amount of poison on him. Maybe I get lucky in my next draw. Uh, I can um, uh, bump that up a notch or two and maybe triple this one. That'll kill him on the next turn uh, outright. And again, would have been nice to have this on a different turn. I guess we'll do some damage. It doesn't even matter what I play here. I'm not going to waste this. I, I don't think I'm going to get around to my deck again, but playing it would be 100% just a waste. If we're lucky, maybe he'll summon and not uh, plan to attack. Uh, but he's going to do 26. I have to defend triple the poison. There we go. So 78. It's still not enough. Darn it. So 16... 72, 78, we got him. So defense was really not uh, very helpful this time around. I just did not seem to jive well with defenses. And having to ultimately wasting um, time trying to kill those orbs because I started killing the wrong one first ultimately made things um, fairly difficult. But we at least got him, um, and uh, that's that. So... Like I said, conventional wisdom is to kill the at least one of the orbs first, depending on how strong of an attack deck you have. Um, but uh, the, the biggest thing is if you kill the orbs, it's a little bit less damage you're going to sustain. You have to kind of try and pace yourself out to deal with that attack rotation. So he does attack, buff, attack, buff, and then mega attack, and then stunned. So if you can't soak enough damage and play defensively for those first five turns, uh, you might get one shot by his laser. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave those below. Otherwise, we will see you again next time. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button and be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie, there's only passion. We'll see you next time.